What's going on everyone? It's your boy Olipop and today we're gonna see what $100 can get us in the world's most expensive grocery store. Stafa's in the building. What up, what up? We're actually at Santa Monica Boulevard. We drove two and a half hours to get to this market. From what I've heard, this exact grocery store called Erwan. This exact grocery store called Erwan is the world's most expensive grocery store and we're gonna see what we can get for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars doesn't go a long way in this grocery store but we're gonna find out. Now Stafa, you're young, you're 17 bro. Yeah. Do you ever grocery shop? Never in my life. Never, so Have this I is gonna be your far. first time? It's gonna be my first time to learn. Like shopping for yourself? Shopping for myself. Cool. What are you gonna get? What are you looking for? Keep in mind our budget is a hundred dollars. Honestly, I don't know what I'm looking for because I've never gone grocery shopping, but we're gonna try and find some cool stuff for you guys. Maybe sure. like some salads, some milk, some like ground turkey. Some crazy stuff, honestly. Yeah, but, well, well we're about to there. find out what's in there, but it looks pretty packed already. Yeah. Did you have buy already? It's crazy. popping. There's a, parking. there's a whole outdoor area that's super popping. I think there's a restaurant attached to it, but we're about to find out what's in this market and how much everything costs. Mustafa, we just pulled in. Are you ready to do some shopping? I'm ready to do some shopping, but to be honest, we don't belong here, bro. <laughs> we don't belong here at all. Like, bro, this as, is crazy. As soon as we walked in, I noticed right away. I was like, yeah, we don't belong here. This is so this bougie. This is too bougie for us. The bro. whole crowd here is super bougie. I guess it makes sense because we are in Santa Monica, but let's look at something random here. Okay. It's a jar of jam. A jar of jam right here. Guess how much it cost? $17. $17 for a jar of jam. This is granola butter. It's $14. How much? $14, bro. For a granola butter. Granola butter. Who even eats granola butter? Yeah, we haven't even done a like a full inspection. This is just one of the first aisles we came to to start, but it is outrageously expensive thus far. Okay, look at this. Guess how much like pineapple juice would normally cost. Pineapple juice costs like three or four dollars. Three or four dollars. Thirteen ninety nine for some pineapple juice, bro. Come on, bro. You need that pineapple juice. You already know. <laughs> we have a hundred dollar budget, Mustafa. What should we get first? Honestly, we gotta start off with the sweets. All right, let's go ahead and find some sweets first. Milk chocolate, milk? dark chocolate, white chocolate, whatever type of chocolate you want. I want milk chocolate. I'm personally a milk chocolate fan, so that's what I'm gonna go with. I don't know about yourself. Yeah, bro. I'll find a milk chocolate for it. Oh, they got a bar for $12.99. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. There's a chocolate bar for $12.99. The first item we officially got is a $12.99 chocolate bar called the Vina Bar. $12.99. What do you think about that? I don't know. I'm used to getting a Snickers or a Twix for $1. Yeah, so I'm now we're getting a chocolate ice cream for $12.99. Chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Oh we're getting a chocolate bar for $12.99. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like we're uh, disturbing the public right now, but we're gonna. Honestly, make this um, grocery store is super packed and hectic, and every time we film, it's like we're running into people and having to restart. Uh, just like right now. It's actually a full restaurant slash sandwich slash smoothie bar. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the prices of the meat here, and I can already tell it's outrageous. Look at this. Wagyu New York beef, $52.99. I know for sure if you're at Bonds, you're getting that for half the price. Minimum. Bro. Minimum. Minimum. A Wagyu filet, $49.99. Only for 16 ounces. Normally, that's also half the price at a Bonds. Yo, Ali, are you thirsty, bro? I am a little thirsty, so normally I drink soda, but I noticed here they have a huge variety of water. So I want to see what the bougiest water they have here, so let's go check it out. Alright, all right. <laughs> it started with time. I got something to say before we get back to the video and what we're saying. Every time someone walks to the section, uh, Safa gets super shy to be on camera in front of people. But we're at the water section, and they have all kinds of water, the standards you can think of, they have the Fiji's, they got the Mountain Valley, they got Arrowhead, Tapa Chico, Pellegrino, whatever. But then we found a specific water here 
That was a little bougie. How much does it cost? Fourteen dollars. I mean, come on. Tell me this doesn't look like a bottle. It's not yeah. Like water. Okay, that doesn't look like water, but that actually is a water. It kind of looks like a bottle of alcohol, but it costs thirteen ninety nine. What's the brand called? Aphora. What? Aphora. Show show the viewers. Aphora. It is a water for wellness. So All I don't right. know. We might look younger. So. For a bottle of water for thirteen ninety nine, I expect this water to have super power. I found. Where are stuff? Oh god. oh god. They actually have fresh like soups here that they make themselves. They got broccoli puree. They got pumpkin lentil. Oh, that sounds really good. Pumpkin lentil. You want some pumpkin lentil? No, you do not. All right. Twenty-four dollars for bone broth. Beef bone broth. $24 for bone beef broth is a little outrageous. You know what I found for $17 that I think is worth it? What? You think I should get it or not? What is it? $17 right here. Barbecue chicken fresh. It's like a barbecue chicken bone broth. broth chicken fresh. Barbecue chicken for $17? Big diesel, baby. Right there. Come on. Should we get that or no? Uh, no? So Safa clearly doesn't want any lentil soup or broth for $17. Let's see what else. We're... Kale chips. Okay, these kale chips here look like something else. We're not gonna mention what it looks like, but um, yeah, take a good look at this. And this Which doesn't flavor? look like kale chips. Which flavor are you doing, Ari? Buffalo wing. Go for the buffalo wing one. All right, get some buffalo wing kale chips. How much do they cost? Only eight dollars. Eight dollars? It's cheap. So far, the most affordable thing we bought is eight dollars of buffalo kale chips. What is that? Chocolate almond bar for eleven dollars. Made by Air One itself. You want to try those or no? Do we get those or do we get the chocolate macarons? Oh! Chocolate macarons made by Air One for $16. We're getting those. We're getting those. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. You're down. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Bro, how much for a donut? Seven dollars, bro. The pack had a six mini donuts, and eighteen bucks. Eighteen bucks for those ones. Let's just get get one donut, bro. Donut, bro. Are you sure? Yeah, right. get a donut. OG classic, or should we go vanilla? Let's just go vanilla. classic. But I noticed something behind us. They have Erwin drinks. Let's get a drink. I don't know what sea moss gel is, but it costs forty dollars. We got a hardcore green smoothie for eleven dollars. Pineapple and green smoothie, eleven dollars. We have pink lemonade for eight dollars. Everything that's normally at a bonds that is four or five dollars, it's double here. You're normally paying no more than four or five dollars for a green smoothie or any type of lemonade. Okay, bro. Honestly, we oh. gotta get the we gotta get the most exotic thing we can find. Right, the most thing? exotic thing. What should we get them right now? Lavender oh, lemonade. Good. Oh, what is that called? Lavender lemonade. Are you feeling that, Ollie? To be honest, I have no clue what to expect from This looks crazy. Honestly, it's pretty cheap for everything else. It's an $8 lemonade. Might be 11. Nine. Lavender lemonade. Okay. So we're gonna get a $9 lavender lemonade, and we're gonna try this out a little later. You know what's bad? When it's $4 in avocado. Are you kidding me, bro? Is there like Four. some average size avocados? Anyway? Listen. $4 for one avocado is outrageous. I haven't seen that ever. I don't know if it's not because of the season or... All these Okay, hold on. 99 cents for lemonade is not too bad. For a lemon? Oh, did I say lemonade? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. 99 cents for a lemon is terrible. I don't know what's is going it, on. Is it expensive? Dude, I think so. It's a dollar a lemon. Who pays a dollar a lemon? Look. Ollie's looking at the, the greens. Orga organic? Organic. <laughs> organic red radishes. Organic red radishes for $2.99 each. Guess what? Look at me. I actually don't know how much it normally costs. I'm just assuming. That's <laughs> Neither of wow. us do. Neither of us do. Hold up, hold up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that? They have charred red organic for two forty nine each. What is a charred red organic? <laughs> I don't know what Bro, we are. If you can look okay, at this, okay, okay. we, we are bought, though, very out of place in this grocery store. We're, we don't know what's going on. As you guys can see, at this point in the video, you guys have realized that myself and Safa never grocery shop. We don't know what's we going on. We only eat out fast food every day, so we actually don't even know how to grocery shop. Oh my god, do you see that? Baby kale spring mix for 4 dollars 
Oh my god. This is not okay. $5.99 a pound for some mushrooms. I don't know much about grocery shopping, but I know $5.99 a pound for some mushrooms is expensive. Check out the milk. Why pay for this milk when you can produce your own? <laughs> raw milk? I've never seen that in my life, have you? No, never. What is raw milk? Bro, raw milk, this is the oh, healthiest hold up, thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we gotta get some. Look we at gotta this. get some. This is like, okay, all sarcasm aside, this little half a gallon of raw milk actually costs $8.99. That's, that's actually that's, ridiculous. That's insane, I mean, come on. Raw milk. <laughs> Cream filled whole raw milk for $8.99. What a deal. It's the D special. If I'm being honest, I think we're probably over the budget at this point. But we're still gonna get some, we'll we're, get a smoothie or we're something. We're still gonna get a smoothie or something. You know we're in an earthy section when you see unbleached paper towels. I've never seen unbleached paper towels in my life until today for $4.69 for one whole. I don't know. I, honestly, there's, there's there's not much you can say the about that. Unbleached paper towels, the whole entire pack for six rolls. Guess how much it costs? Eighteen ninety nine. That's a steal. Eighteen ninety nine. Should we get some unbleached paper towels? Why not? Do they have unbleached toilet paper? I wonder if they do. They have dirt destroying floor cleaner for eight ninety nine. That's a steal. What happened to Windex, bro? What happened to Windex? <laughs> Times are changing. $10 bottle of foam soap, lemongrass. You want some of this soft one? <laughs> All right, I think that's enough grocery shopping. Actually, they're 18 each. Okay, 18 each with tax was $39.60, $40 for two smoothies, guys. $40 for two smoothies? But Safa spent the majority of the time in there when he wasn't on camera swiping on Tinder. I, that's false. false. You were swiping on Tinder, bro. Chillax, that's not real. You were. It's all good. It's only natural, but 17's a little early. Okay. No tender, none of that. We spent a total of $73 on groceries and $36 on these smoothies. $18 each. Over tax, we're well over the $100 budget. Now, which smoothie did you get, bro? Strawberry glaze. I don't know, she said it was like really the most popular smoothie they had, so we had to get it. And then I got the, what was it called? Coconut? Coconut Cloud, I think. Coconut Cloud, they're known for this. So let's go ahead and try these out. Cheers. It's a all right smoothie, in my opinion. Very all right. Like it's, but it's, juice is better, like it's not worth eight, right. it's not worth $18. It's a very okay standard smoothie. $18, is it what worth? What does yours taste like, bro? It literally just tastes like coconut and like a little bit of fruit. Yeah, this one just tastes like strawberry and like a little bit of banana. It's not bad though, you know It's not I mean? bad, but it's not worth $18. Is it worth $18? Hell no. No, let me see. Oh, I kind of like this one. The strawberry one's I fire. Like this one better. No, the strawberry one's fire. This one's better. Wait, what is that one's not crazy. Strawberry glaze. Strawberry glaze. If you come and you're gonna get a smoothie for eighteen dollars, I mean, strawberry glaze is the one again. Yeah, I honestly kind of like this one better. No, I like the strawberry glaze. It would be the day we decided to come to Los Angeles, Santa Monica, specifically where it starts to sprinkle. So we had to come inside the car. What are we gonna try out first? All right. So these are the chocolate coconut macaroons. Chocolate coconut macaroons cost us sixteen dollars. Okay. What they look like they come in this glass jar. They kind of like greasy. They have an Arawan sticker on it. I'm gonna pop sixteen dollar macaroons. I wonder if they're gonna be as good as the Grill Scout cookie ones. Okay. So when Ali was struggling to open it and I had to open it for him, I opened it and we got a whiff of it and this it smells kind of amazing. Smells crazy, but... Cheers. Oh my god, this is a bomb! Yeah, this is crazy. Holy f Holy f bomb! You could actually taste the coconut like flakes all over it. Oh my god. That is by far the best macaron I've ever had in my life. It knocks out the Girl Scout cookies ones by far. I'm getting a little thirsty though, so. We got the $14 water to wash this down. $14 water. This water like better have superpowers. <laughs> all right, bro. I'm gonna try it first. I'm not gonna react until you try it. All right. All right. I'm gonna hold my reaction in. He's smiling. He's smiling. Wait, why did you like close it? Okay. 
It's water. <laughs> oh my god, it's water. It's nothing special. No, actually, guys, I feel like. No, my it's body, uh, My whole body is like. It's, it's like water. I'm levitating. Ephora Nano Pure Restructured Hyper Exhaustionated. Whatever that means, water. Basically, we asked the worker inside what it would do to us and he said it would make us younger, so we bought it. Yeah, it's anti-aging water. If you want some anti-aging $14 water for 25 ounces, yeah, it's just water, bro. I don't know the difference between this and Kirkland. Shout out to Costco. I, I miss Costco water. That's the best water out there. The $12 chocolate bar. $12 chocolate bar, the Finnabar. So if you guys want to see, it's the Finnabar. This one exactly, it says it's milk chocolate with strawberry and pretzel. That sounds really good. All right. It's like in the packaging. Okay. Oh, look at that. Stop it here, you have a hungry, bro. All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. What is that? What is that? Can you please, I don't want this. Take it. This is disgusting. Bro, I'm not, no, it's fine. You can, <laughs> there's no way. There has to be a sick joke. There's no it way. It tastes like anything. Guys. $14 water to wash it down, come on. I have to be honest here, this is a $12 chocolate bar and one of the worst chocolate bars I ever had. Literally, you we gotta pay $1 for a Twix or Snickers, it's 100 times better. It's not worth the $12 in my opinion. Cream top whole raw milk. This milk was, I believe, $8.99. I've never had raw milk in my life. It would be the first time ever on camera. Go crazy, though. Oh, 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 oh. It's good. Really? Yeah, it's good. The best way I could put it is, it tastes like regular milk, but just creamier. That's all it tastes like, creamier milk. This is really I mean, good. I love milk. I love we milk too. Love milk. We've always loved milk. When I was going through puberty, fun fact, I would drink four to six glasses of milk a day because I wanted to get taller. I don't know if that's a myth, but I used to do it. This milk's very solid. It's just regular milk that's creamier. That's the best way I can put it. It's from grass grazed cows as well, so. Honestly, I would buy this again. Yeah, I would buy it again too. It's expensive, it's, it's like but it tastes milk, good, bro. yeah. So Staffa made a last minute auto bowl and decided to put the donut back and he got a cheesecake. For $8.50. For $8.50 from their bakery here. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Look at that, a nice bite of the cheesecake. I'll wait for you. Oh, Why? <laughs> hey, Bob. This is good. It's like a bougier, you know, cheesecake. All cheesecake's good at the end of the day. Oh yeah. Can't really mess it up. Is it worth $8.50? I'd say yeah. Hey Bob. I would get it again. As you can see, we're really good grocery shoppers. We're probably the best grocery shoppers you've ever seen. We literally looked more lost than anyone in that store. Everyone was staring at us like, what are you guys doing here? Oh, the last but not least, we got the lavender lemonade. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but there's lavender running through this lemonade. I believe it was a $9 lemonade. It comes in a glass bottle. Very bougie and fancy. Cheers. Cheers. Why are you drinking the water? I don't know. I don't know. That's kinky. Whoa. That is a- uh, That is a weird choice of words, bro. That is a uh, unique lemonade. It's something I've never tasted before. I can't even explain it. Sweet lavendery lemonade. I feel like it's a nice summer day. You're at Playa del Carmen on the beach and you're enjoying a lavender lemonade from Erewhon. That's I what it feels like. like. I can even say it better. That's exactly what it tastes yeah. like. It's like a, it's a taste I can't describe. It's just lavender try, mixed with lemonade. Honestly, I think this is the best thing we tried today in terms of like, yeah. How like different it was. It was so different and it actually has all the fresh lavender. Yeah, like it's literally purple on top, blue on the bottom. Yeah. It's so, like, that's so crazy. Yeah, it's it's really good. Overall, a very interesting experience at the Erwin grocery store. We drove about two and a half hours to get here from San Diego. It was a bit of a struggle to uh, say the least. It was a bit of a struggle. We had some traffic. 
couldn't find a gas station for a little bit. It was bad. Yeah, and also we, you saw our grocery shopping skills. It wasn't the best. We did our best to show you guys the outrageous prices that they're known for. But overall, a very trendy, hip, cool grocery store. There was a lot of young people it's in there. Us, it's just not for yeah, it's me and Stafa. But if you're into grocery shopping and that's like your cup of tea, I think that's grocery shopping nah, heaven. It's a pretty cool place, bro. It's, it's a very cool. cool. They have a restaurant. They have a full little bakery. They have everything you can imagine. It's just very expensive. But for myself, I think that was my first and last time there. What do you think? Come on, bro. That's my first and last time there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's your boy Olipop, and we're out peace